Okay, this is a laptop which has had an ouch to its screen. It's a Gateway NV55C series and this is a video to attempt to show my my uh, correction of the problem. In the background you can see we have a temporary hooked up to another monitor. That's what it should be and as you can see this is what it's doing. So let's uh, get it powered down take out the battery and then we'll see what we see okay so let's move the, remove the battery This particular model has two little screw tab covers here that have to come up with some kind of a razor blade. You just kind of work your blade in underneath it. You can just set them next to it. Convenient. And you got two small Phillips. And then we have to separate the bracket off. It's got little clip markings all the way along. I think it's easiest to start on the side. Just don't want to put too much pressure, just a little. So you can get just a little bit of popping like that. Again, the main thing is just press slowly. Just kind of run your fingers all the way around it. Okay, that comes off like so. Set that off to the side. Okay, now I've got this metal bracket that holds the screen in place. This one has got one, two, three screws on each side. Okay, now let me just kind of carefully pull the screen forward. This one has a video cable right here. Just kind of gently press on the back here to get it to release from the binding. Just a little bit of adhesive right here. And then pull this forward. And then this is where the connector is. This is what has to be loosened up. Basically, try to keep care to avoid touching anything metallic in here. Okay, and then just kind of pull the connector free here. Just a little adhesive on the back here too, and I'll loosen that up from the back side right here. There we go. 
go. All right, just like so. So here's the old screen off to the side. Just kind of set this like so. Take out the new screen here. It's got protective on you. The far side here, so we'll go ahead and take that off. Insert this connector. Okay, got the seat down in there. Just put the adhesive back down on here. I'll reroute the cable wiring into the protective slots that's in there. I'll set this into the bracket. Put some pressure here to kind of seat everything in place. And then I'm gonna just reinstall the screws backwards. Right, sometimes if you can't get the seat quite right, if you're careful you can sit up on edge here. Sometimes that makes the screw line a little easier. Putting things back together. Screws all in place. Let's put the outside plastic bracket black back in place. <clears throat> Double check that that's the cable's good. It just slips over. Like so snap everything back down. the screws here. Again, no need to over tighten, just a little bit of tension. Otherwise you crack the plastic. Replace the little black stickers. Not strictly necessary, but it's aesthetic. Okay, looks pretty good. The screen's back in working condition and uh, should have a happy wife.